The first thing prayer does is that he opens you to the voice of God. The second thing is that he brings the presence over you. If you intend to manifest the influence of the kingdom, please understand divine presence. Otherwise, That's where some of these men have gone to. And when they speak, their words never fall to the ground. But in the name of Jesus, that presence will rest upon you. Is great. Please keep standing. I'm going to pray. I'm going to bow my knees to the God of my covenant. Listen to me. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, please, I want you to believe. Don't waste your time. Please, no movement around. I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. The vision that brought me to ministry was a vision of a generation crying and said there's no food and there's no water and this i said who is the cause and they said you are the one i wanted to run and help them but i was afraid because there were people who were chasing me and a gray gray bearded man that i know now to be the holy spirit held my hand and he said let us go brothers and sisters i know what it means to be in insufficiency don't think this is just a preacher's talk at whatever level god has helped you there is more believe me when i tell you there is more it will look like arrogance to begin to tell you the faithfulness of god i just leave that as as let jesus be glorified but i want to pray for you i want you to believe and shout a resounding amen whether you are standing or falling I want you to believe it with all your heart. Father, don't kneel. You can stand. I will do the kneeling. I kneel and I bow before you by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Every force sitting on anyone's financial destiny right now in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead let that force be dislodged now be dislodged now be dislodged now Master, we have toiled all night. Let me speak to someone here. Let, let the seasons of toiling, walking like an elephant, eating like an ant, let it come to end in your life now. Let it come to end in your life now. Hear me. Everyone here who is in debt, whether personal debt or business debt, I prophesy by the God of heaven, between now and the next three months, by the road of the apostolic and the prophetic, come out of that debt now. Come out of that debt now. Every business here that has refused to grow has refused to rise. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Between now and the end of 2021, be ten times better than you are.
Hear me? There are many of us here. It's not like you are lacking food to eat. But you keep recycling the same financial level. Recycling, you can't break out of it. Some of you have been on building projects for close to 10 years. To finish it and move your family is not there. By the power of the prophetic, I push you to the next level of your destiny. I push you to the next level of your finances. Hear me? I tell you, fire is falling. There are families here that love the Lord with all their hearts, but nobody has risen financially in that family for whatever reason. If you belong to that family right now, I'm speaking to you because the power of God is coming upon you. I decree and declare anyone here who is part of any family where the circle is just poverty lack and hardship i declare may that cause be broken now may that cause be broken now every ministry here that is struggling financially following online you are a man of god your church your ministry is struggling financially up today and down tomorrow in the name of jesus christ come out of that shame and report now i want to pray for you the lord is ministering to me that there are people it's not like you are poor but all your resources are hanging everywhere you keep watching resources that are supposed to have come but it does not come wherever it is manis kadiba lakatoskiata paragata bashkata ebreketaskiabata in the name of jesus i decree and declare i command those resources to come to you now come to you now come to you now hear me there are some of you you were part of the lifting of many people but they forgot you that is the reason why you are where you are it's not that you are lazy you've been part of many people's rising but now they've left you where you are in the name of jesus i pray the destiny helper assigned to wipe your tears hold your hands and lift you wherever they are this week i command them to appear before your destiny Appear before your destiny. All those trusting God for jobs, trusting God to start businesses, trusting God for any value adding structure, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, beginning from this week, let there be testimonies. And anyone sitting on your glory, your financial glory, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn, I overturn until you sit on your rightful place. Hear me. There are many of you as you go to sleep tonight. God will open up to you visions and he will tell you what to do. Believe me, as you go to bed, God will show you what to do. Hear me? There are some of you here, because of the urgency of the situation in your life, a fish does not carry coin, but when there is need to pay tax, God can make even a fish to bring coin. I pray for you from the most unexpected means may the resources to take away shame from your life may it appear in the name of jesus now hear me i speak over every sacrifice many of you are making profound sacrifices 
only God knows what you are doing. Individuals, businesses, ministries, couple, children, young, old organizations. But I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. The same way fire came upon the sacrifice of Elijah. In the name of Jesus, may fire rest on your sacrifice. <laughs> Hear me? For some of you, what you sowed is for the next level of your promotion. And I really mean what I'm saying. For some of you, what you sowed is for the next level of your political destiny. Some of you, what you sowed is for the next level of your destiny. Whatever has died in your hand, hear the word of the Lord. Let it come back to life now. Hear me. If you have never experienced an individual calling you to say, I want to help you, I release that mantle on you now. 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 Inside, outside, online. Inside, outside, online. Receive that grace right now. Please hear me. Hear me. I am not praying for you. For someone to just come and help you once. I am praying for someone who will build a system around your life. Hallelujah. Please hear me. If there is anyone who has victimized you financially. Either based on tribal sentiments. Based on religion. Based on political affiliation or whatever it is. Right now. I lose those chains of you. Go forward. 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 I want you to watch the marvelous testimonies of strange financial miracles you are going to be hearing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I be honest with you? For some of you, you will be sitting in your home. Someone will bring the key to a house. And say, take. I speak this by the unction of heaven. For some of you will be sitting and someone will bring a car. And say, God instructed me to give you. Tell me. For some of you, someone will come and meet you. And say, God said I should raise your children to university. Now hear this, the final prayer. There is an anointing that comes upon a man that can attract opportunities, that can attract people, that can attract resources. I taught you last week, if you want to pick nails from the ground here, you don't pick them one by one. You pass a magnet around them and it will pick everything. Some of you, that's what you are about to become right now. Hear me. Some of you, your helpers are already in Koinonia. They are in this place right now. Now therefore, as I have received from the fathers of faith, this is a relay. This grace was passed. It is not something we invented. As I have, rele as I have received from the fathers and by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic, this grace that mysteriously attracts resources, attracts men, attracts opportunity. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Koinonia, take that grace now. Let that grace come on your head now. Let that grace come on your business now. Take that grace now. Take that mantle now. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. And hear me. Any power that fights your prosperity from today, in the name of Jesus, that power goes down before your face. I 
and any man who says over his dead body for this prophetic word to come to pass may the ground open and swallow them may the ground open and swallow them every yoke every enchantment every activity of witchcraft negative patterns i break it now in the name of jesus christ go and return with testimonies in the name of jesus give jesus praise give jesus praise